Welcome to how to calculate regression equations. So let's go over what a regression equation is. If you have a set of data, a bunch of different points, and if you put them on a graph, your regression equation is basically the line of best fit that models what all of that data looks like. So we use regressions to predict future amounts based on our current amounts. If all of your data looks like a line, we go with a linear regression. If your data resembles a parabola, like the bottom left, you're going to go with a quadratic. If your data seems to be periodic, kind of like a wave, you're going to go with sinusoidal, because remember, sinusoidal represents trig equations, like sine and cosine. And then finally, if your graph models an exponential equation, we're going to use the exponential regression. In this case, on the bottom right, we have exponential decay. Keep in mind that you're going to want to know what type of regression to use based on what your data is or what the problem asks you to do. So in this example, the problem is asking us to do a linear regression, and we have a table for our data. We're going to want to put this table in our calculator, but we have to know how to do it. So first we're going to look at the table and we see years, and the years start at 1980. We're not going to really use 1980 in our table because it's such a large number. And quite frankly, I don't care what happened in 1700, right? We only care about the current values. We care about the values starting from 1980, not what happened several hundred years before it. So we're going to really write this as zero. And then 1985 is five years later. 1990 is 10 years later, 15 years later, and 20. So we're replacing years only. You don't replace other values such as the age or if you're talking about height, we leave those as is. We only rewrite years. This is going to be our list one and this is going to be our list two. X is always L1, Y is always L2. You're going to go to your calculator and in order to create a regression, this is really statistics. So we're going to go to where it says statistics and you're going to edit because you need to edit your list there. I already have my list in otherwise you would just go and type out all of your data into list one and list two. We are never touching list three or four or five or so on. The first important thing that you're going to want to do is double check your values because if you accidentally type one wrong number your entire problem is going to be wrong and you're not even going to know about it. So please, it's really important to double check the values. Also, when you're checking, you want to make sure that each list has the same number of elements in it. For example, we have five numbers in list one. If list two only had four numbers, then you're going to get an error throughout this process. So. When creating regressions, if you ever see an error, go back and check to make sure that you have all the numbers in your list. Now to actually create the regression, you're going to go back to stat, but this time we're going to go over to calculate. You need to look at all your different regressions. We have linear regression, quadratic regression, cubic, quartic. The problem said to do linear. Now, choice four linear and choice eight linear are the same exact thing. The only difference that is that in the first one, your slope comes first, AX, and in the second one, your slope comes last. They're the same thing. You're going to hit enter. Notice how it already has L1 and L2 in there. So you never have to do a thing with this. You're going to hit enter until you get down to calculate. And it's going to tell you that's what your linear regression is. You're going to take all of these values and write all of them down. That's very important for you to write everything on the calculator exactly as it is without rounding. The reason is, is when you create your final answer, let's say that you rounded incorrectly or you input the values in wrong. Writing this from your calculator screen is going to give you partial credit.
Also, if you type the list wrong into your calculator and you have the completely wrong regression equation, you get a point just for writing this from your calculator screen. I know it takes a lot of time, but please write it. From there, you're just going to sub in values. We have y equals our a was 1.08, x, our b value was 13.4. Now these are nice numbers, so you can just write it in, but be careful, a lot of questions tell you how to round. Going on to the next one. If you read the problem, they're talking about creating an exponential regression. And this one tells you how to round. So you're going to go back to the calculator. You're going to go to stat. We're editing it with our new um, data entries, but we already have lists here. So in order to clear a list, you're going to go up to where it says L2. You're going to hit clear and enter. It's really important that you clear your lists and not delete it. Because look what happens if you press delete. L1 goes away, and it's not going to come back. So in order to make it come back, you either have to restart your calculator or go back to stat edit and do the setup editor. It brings back all of your lists. So again, make sure you clear your lists, not delete. So now that I took all of my data from the list and put it into my calculator, I'm ready to set up my exponential regression after you double check to make sure all of your values work. We're going to go to stat, calculate. You're going to scroll down to where you see exponential regression. And I believe that's going to be choice zero. Because we used L1 and L2, go straight to calculate. And you're, again, really important that you write down everything the calculator says. This is your partial credit. Now we're going to round to the nearest 10,000th, which is four decimal places. So we have y equals a was 27.2025, b is... 1.1509 because we're rounding up to the x power as your answer. If you read part b, they want you to use the equation from part a to predict the number of single-celled organisms to the nearest, again, rounding whole number at the end of the 18th hour. All you have to do for this is make x equal to 18. You're going to use the equation that you have, plug in 18 to get your answer. So I have the equation in my calculator, I hit enter, and it tells me rounded to the nearest whole number, I have 341. So 341 single-celled organisms at the end of the 18th hour. So some things to keep in mind with regressions, make sure that you double check that your table is correct. We are clearing unwanted lists. We are not deleting them. Use correct regression model. If the problem says to use an exponential regression, make sure you choose that. Write down everything from your calculator because that's your partial credit. And in the end, you have to make sure you round appropriately. Usually creating regression questions are only worth two points on the regions. If you mess up any of these five important parts, you're not going to get the full two points. And that's all for this video.